What's good everyone, Stanley Merklin here, I live there for I am, and today I want to give you guys my top five pick for this year's Mr. Olympia. So if you didn't already know, the Mr. Olympia competition is pretty much the largest competition in bodybuilding. It's the pinnacle of bodybuilding success. For the past three years, the reigning Mr. Olympia has been Phil Heath. Here's a picture of Phil Heath right here. And this year marks the 50th anniversary of the Mr. Olympia competition. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat my top five for this year's Mr. Olympia. In first place, once again, we're going to have to go with Phil Heath. In second place, as per the last two years, I believe, I'm going to have to go with Kai Green. In third place, I'm going to make kind of a big assumption here, or a big go out on a limb and say that Big Rammy, in my opinion, is going to take third. And that's a four place jump from seventh last year. Dennis Wolf, who took third last year, is going to take fourth, in my opinion, this year. And then Sean Roden, who took fourth last year, is going to take fifth in this Olympia. So Phil, Kai, Rami, Dennis, and then Sean. How did I come to this conclusion? Pretty much, in my opinion, Phil Heath cannot be beaten by Kai Green. And no one else, in my opinion, other than Big Rami, has any sort of potential to beat Phil Heath. Now, Phil Heath, in my opinion, has the most complete package of anyone on the Olympia stage in terms of size, conditioning, and I guess I'll call it the Phil Factor. And what I mean by the Phil Factor is just how Phil looks like a cartoon. He has these really round, really full, really cartoonish looking 3D effect to all of his muscles that no one, with the exception of Big Rami, and Big Rami does not have this effect to the same extent that Phil has. So, for now, there's no one that can touch Phil Heath because of this re these reasons and also because of the political environment of the Olympia, which plays a big part on where, where you place. I think Phil Heath has more connections than any other of the Olympia competitors. He's more marketable than most of the competitors, especially Kai Green, as much as I hate to say it. And lastly, Phil Heath, he seems to like the attention. He seems to do well in the spotlight of the media. So I think for all these reasons, Phil Heath once again take first place and take home his fourth Olympia. Now in second place, Kai Green. Now Kai's biggest problems in the past have been one, dialing his conditioning, either he's on like in 2012, or he's off like last year where he looks smooth, watery, kind of bloated, conditioning not where it should not where it should have been. Other weaknesses with Kai Green, um, I mean his traps and his midsection are his biggest problems. And people always say that Kai has a big waist. But if you actually look at him, his actual waist, the size of Kai's actual pelvis is quite small. In fact, I would say Kai's pelvis is smaller than Phil Heath's pelvis. It's just that the circumference and Kai's actual distended stomach, obviously, is enormous and it kind of looks like he's pregnant. You know, these are his biggest problems. Conditioning, traps, and midsection. And if you don't follow Kai Green, a few weeks ago on his trainer George Farah's Facebook, he posted some pictures that in my opinion were very systematic and were not random at all. They were pictures of one, tra Kai's traps, and two, Kai's midsection. And these pictures showed that Kai is pretty dialed in in terms of conditioning, being seven weeks out from the Olympia. And also, his traps have been brought up immensely. His traps look great, and his midsection does not have that crazy distended, bloated look that he's had in the past. So if all things go well, and he can dial in on show day, I think no one is messing with Kai Green. Second place is his. All right guys, now in third place, I'm going to have to choose Big Rami. Now the reason I'm choosing Big Rami over Dennis Wolf, who placed third last year, is because recently on his trainer, um, De Big Dennis James Instagram page, he posted some pictures of Big Rami. I believe these pictures were posted two weeks ago. So this is around seven weeks out, and Big Rami is over 300 pounds. I believe he said he was 309 pounds, and his conditioning is looking quite good. The main problems Big Rami has had in the past, in the very few shows that he's done, is his conditioning, and he had some slight gyno last year at the Olympia and at the New York Pro, but it seems to be cleared up in these shots. So now that Big Rami has got the gyno cleared up, and he has his conditioning dialed in. He definitely seems like he's gotten a little bit bigger. But with these two, these two things corrected, I think Big Rami, there's no one who can give Big, Rom, Big Rami a run for money, his money in terms of size. So Big Rami, in my opinion, is gonna go to third place. The reason why he won't place above Kai is just because I think they're not ready to give Big Rami a second place in the Olympia because he hasn't really paid his dues. He's only been bodybuilding for a few years now. He's only been in the Olympia once. So for those reasons, Big Rami, third place. In fourth place, Dennis Wolf. 
Last year, Dennis Wolf at the 2013 Mr. Olympia placed third. But like I said, I just don't think he can overcome Big Rami's sheer size. And I think genetically, Big Rami is obviously a lot more gifted. He has lower inserting lats than Wolf. He has much, much bigger legs. Even though Wolf does have impressive legs, Big Rami's legs are just absurd. Probably the biggest, I don't really know any other bodybuilder currently in the pro ranks whose legs are bigger than Big Rami. But with that being said, Dennis Wolf just can't compete, in my opinion, with, with Big Rami. There's just no way. However, Dennis Wolf's conditioning is always on point. So, Dennis Wolf will get fourth, in my opinion, and he always makes improvements. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw an even better Wolf than what we saw last year. And then, lastly, in fifth place, I'm going to go with Sean Roden. Now, the reason I'm picking Sean Roden and moving him from fourth place as he placed last year to fifth place this year is because Dennis Wolf won the Arnold Classic where he beat Sean Roden. I think because of this, he will again place above Sean Roden, and I just think the general environment of bodybuilding right now isn't favoring physiques like Sean Roden's. So yeah, Sean Roden in fifth place because, to be perfectly honest, he can't, I mean, he could maybe get bigger, but I don't think Sean Roden will look any better at heavier body weight. The way he looks now is, in my opinion, the most aesthetic physique on the Olympia stage. However, I don't think that's the look that they are going for right now. So because of these reasons, I think Sean Roden will end up taking fifth place behind Dennis Wolf. So to recap, once again, Phil to win it for his fourth Olympia, Kai next, uh, Big Rami, Dennis Wolf, Sean Roden. Those are my top five. Also, I just wanted to say that I haven't been that rigorous with uploading videos because I've been quite busy, but I'm getting ready to head, uh, head back to school. So in the next few weeks, be on the lookout because I'll start uploading videos. Probably two videos a week is my goal. I'll also go back to training videos because I found out at my gym I'm not allowed to film. So that's why I haven't been seeing any training footage. But right when I get back to school, I guarantee you guys I'm going to start putting up videos much more consistently and especially having a lot more training videos, a lot more informative videos. So. I hope you guys like this video. Just a little rant about bodybuilding. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me who you think is going to win the Olympia. Do you agree with my selection or not? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.